Strong Ellie Fat Choi. This morning. Choi. Are we saying it right? Y yes. You're yes. looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Saying it correctly, Fat Choi. And so it's it's not just a Chinese New Year. It is for those in our community, Korean community, uh, South, uh, <laughs> Southeast Asian community, Vietnamese. Yeah. Yeah. You were out hand, I was handing out handing out little envelopes with chocolate coins. I mean, I want to make it clear to the taxpayers. <laughs> <laughs> Real money. It was chocolate coins, but uh, people were great. I was at the Splendid China Mall last night and down at the Sony Center where they had all kinds of artists from Hong Kong. It was great. Mr. Mayor, do you enjoy dim sum? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Me too. Yeah. It's delicious. It's not good for you, though. We're, we're the queen of vegetables over there. I mean, she's. she's <laughs> and vegetables, Marilyn Smith, I think she would say that perhaps a steam as opposed to a fried dim sum. <laughs> There's her majesty. Delicious. Look at that. Look at that wave, too. Isn't she amazing? Oh, that's the best. Oh, yeah. TV. Yeah. It's not like being at a council meeting. You wave it? like that from your country. Yes, I do. It's like parading by. king of breakfast television. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to you this morning. Nice to be here. Thank it's you very much. It's good to have you on the big yes. table again. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah. I, I could, could, could I come here every day? And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to pay me. I'll do it for nothing. When? I'll say that's exactly what it's worth. When are you going to do something about the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow. That is not, that's actually a federal that's responsibility. Yeah, that's you know, I was in Ottawa yesterday and they were giving me such a bad time. Like Tom Mulcair, the leader of the NDP, has a big picture of himself in a Canadian's jersey. So, of course, I kid him and I say, well, what is that jersey you're wearing in that picture? And he sort of says, uh, who are you to talk? <laughs> I, I, oh, it hurt me badly. Oh. My grandson, my grandson is a, uh, he says, uh, Grandpa, I can't support the Leafs, they're losers. He's a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Wow. <laughs> He's oh. And how old's your grandson again? Seven. Seven. No. Really discouraged. What, Paul, what were you telling? Me that we're, we're coming up to the trade uh, yeah. deadline, so Mar March 2nd. Yeah. And was it ESPN had a list of, of the top four teams players did not have a We're the fifth worst. To be traded to. The worst like, is Edmonton. Ottawa's on the list too. Why are all these Canadian cities on there? Can't, can't be the weather, I'm sure. the media exposure. It can't it's be the weather. Can't oh, it is. It's a tough place to play. Yeah. I remember when they tried Number to get Vinny LeCavalier to the Montreal Canadiens, he said, No, I just don't want to come to Canada <laughs> because there's just too much pressure to play. Yeah. I mean, we're fourth on the list, by the way. Yeah. Not fourth. I thought I thought we were fifth. Okay. Fourth, right, Pete? It was Edmonton, Winnipeg, Buffalo. Winnipeg, Edmonton, Buffalo, and we're tied for fourth with Ottawa. Tied, wow. Wow. tied for fourth. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but those yeah. are all the, the the more northern NHL teams. Yeah. You know, a lot of them do want to go to the south. <laughs> but we have the best mayor. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I'll just accept that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been getting a lot. There's been more fireworks at City Hall these days. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to be talking about that in just a little bit. I thought the election. Came Campaign was over. Yeah, I thought so too, but okay. never mind. I mean, I, you know, whatever. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you have the joy today. Of, and I, I was going to say joy. You're going to the police services board meeting. That uh, will, will be interesting. Um, but also, uh, you will be. Will you be attending any more uh, New Year's celebrations today? Not today, but I'm. Uh, yes, I am going tonight to a party at the Scarborough Town Center for the Chinese New Year's. I am going to. You're going to party? To, to How tomorrow do you tonight. What does it involve? <laughs> does it involve a couple of libations? Do you enjoy the occasional party snack? I mean, what, how do you party? I, I I just go and hand out these envelopes with the <laughs> You don't get to eat. Last night, I'll tell you an embarrassing story about that. They handed me these giant meat, a giant meatball like this big. Yeah. It was like a small peewee football <laughs> at the Sony Center last night at the, at the Chinese New Year's thing there. Yeah. And of course, once I had it, I was famished. I mean, it was like 7.30 or 8 o'clock and I hadn't eaten. And so then I sort of start eating. The guy goes, can I have my picture taken with you? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you're like, all right, you want to see my yeah. seafood? Yeah. Uh, no napkins to be found. No, no. exactly. Right. Just oh, chopsticks. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta make time to eat. Yeah. Speaking of, if you're hungry, miss fruits and vegetables. She's got been coming. already counseling me okay. this morning. Uh, oh, and, and, uh, there she is. Yeah, she's gonna smile all morning. She's still gonna talk. God, she's Miss Congeniality. She, she is that too. Yeah. It's like, uh, it is. I thought that was you. Oh no, I'm the joker and the jester. I see. Mm. <laughs> Let's I thought that was Brad. Oh, on breakfast television. He's on fire today. At least I'm good for something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a job.